Hello, hello, and welcome back to to <laughs> my GF makes me home read Homestuck with my GF. Hi, I'm Arma. I'm the GF. Yay! When we left off, da 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 da, I got the pogo hammer. Yes. And I'm sipping coffee. Hey, Tyrant King. So. John, practice with the new weapon. Hey, re recursive. He's just going ham. What did you do? I combined the cards. In, or, or wait, hang on. What's the voice again? I combined the cards in the lathe thingy and made this. It is so sweet, man. Look at me go. I see. That was a really good idea, John. Nice work. Thanks. I got the idea from Harry Anderson. Who? Uh, you know, the the show night court? No. Oh. Well, bottom line is, he's awesome, and that's really all there is uh, to say on the matter. John, attack the nearest imp to test the pogo hammer's strength. You get a vicious rhythmic bouncing combo going and easily slay the imp in one blow. You and the pogo ride are catapulted sky high in the process. Short stack gets smashed. Or short stack gets hammered and smashed. <laughs> equals equals greater than. Yeet. <laughs> equals equals greater than. <laughs> Equals equals greater than. Sweet catch. <laughs> equals equals greater than. Uh oh. E chonk. Equals equals greater than. Rose pester John. Oh, lol, 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 Grizz. Welcome, lol, Grizz. Uh, hey, that was pretty, uh, nice. Uh, sweet catch. Save. Oh, yeah, that. This is pretty comfy. Why don't you just, like, carry the bed around with me on it? Up to the gate, uh, <laughs> up to the gate up there. I can't interact with you directly, or anything that you're touching, if it will result in moving you, see? Oh, lame! The game probably regards that as a kind of cheating, in a way, thieving you of your free will as adventurer and the need of advance by your own skill and ingenuity. The server player is just a facilitator. Well, okay, all that scurrying around kind of wore me out. I think I'm going to rest here for a bit. Rose, can you keep the imps at bay? Like, drop some, drop some stuff on them if they sneak up too close? What an no. ass. <laughs> Just straight up, no. You should pick up your hammer and defend yourself. What? Come on! I have no idea what the hell Dave is up to, or if he's any closer to recovering the game. There's some stuff I'd like to try, in case he doesn't come through. Oh, alright. I'm just gonna rest my eyes here a second. Here a second, though. Gone. Sleep. This is gonna have sound. I hope it's not too loud. A sleepy boy. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn that down a tiny bit. I'm gonna can I make it play again to Yeah, just do an audio test real quick because this is the There we go, now it shouldn't be too loud. It's a very nice bit of music. I Ro love the music in Helmstock. Rose, check the alchemy ex crucis. One of the musicians is Toby Fox, who would go on to Oh wait, this is this one was by Toby Fox. Is he? Yeah, it's good to see. Toby Fox is a good musician and picks a lot. Toby Fox is an awesome fucking person. Anyway, as far 
as far as creatively goes, I don't know them personally. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I told Rose to check the Alchemy Excrucis. Looks like a sort of index documenting all the known results for punch cord alchemy combinations. This could be a convenient resource as you start to stumble on more useful card combinations. But ever since John started punching cards, you've been contemplating other ways this item manufacturing system could be put to use. In particular, if you obtain the code for any item of, of your disposal, you think you could theoretically send the code to John, and he could make it himself. That is, if you can think of anything that will be worth sending to him. So that, that was the first song that got retconned in. Like, what, was it not there initially, but later on they edited it and put it in? Or something? I'm assuming that's what you mean by it was the first one to get retconned in. That's re-recursive in chat saying that. Uh, Rose, capture log the Spurb ser server CD. Oh, now we're thinking with capture logs. You eject <laughs> the disc and capture log the server CD. I forgot about the dead cat in a suit. <laughs> Rose, message John uh, the capture log code. <sighs> oh, God damn it. Is there actually, like, letters there? I don't think there are any. Ooh. You're entering the part of Homestuck where one of the big artists was removed from the team later, and their songs were replaced by various musicians from later. Oh! Why was the person removed? Did they just ask to be removed, or was there some controversy? Uh, equals equals greater than. <laughs> <laughs> that, that looks good. There's some... Uh, unprofessionalism. Hmm. Uh, equals equals greater than. A thing that sadly seems to orbit around Homestuck from what I've heard is unprofessionalism at times. Equals equals greater than. Man, this is a shitty laptop if it can't sustain itself for more than a minute without fucking, like, electricity. She probably kept it plugged in too often and it burned out the battery. Like, if you overcharge your laptop, you can fuck up the battery and make it not hold a charge. That's literally what I do all the time. Well, it also depends on the quality of it. Well, with Hussy, it's always some drama, but Bolin in particular, I think, was accusations of plagiarism. No, that was someone else. Yeah, and I know that recently there's been a lot of things of, like, them getting overly defensive of expected criticism from what I've seen, where like some like some video essay person will be like, "Can do a video essay on Homestuck," and before the essay's even out, they're getting a cease and desist. But usually not from the Homestuck author, but from the Hive Swap team, like doing it. Although I don't want to say too much because this is all alleged stuff I've only heard like hearsay and details of. With Bolin, they were upset with the way Hussey used their music. Their argu an argument ensued, and Bolin did a big rant, and Hussey was like, okay, goodbye. Alright. Uh, John, wake up. Dad Cloud? Cake Cloud? <laughs> what is- Gushers? Jester? Slime? <laughs> and the comedian guy that I forget the name of. My vagina. Oh. I, I, I wish I had. The, is that a pumpkin? What pumpkin? Is there a joke there? I think you told me about a pumpkin joke being a thing. Yes. Equals equals greater than. Um, was I- yeah, that's the- the girl that has the lisp, right? Yes, the lispy girl. Okay, so it's me talking to- oh god, I've got to talk to myself so much. <clears throat> okay. Wow, professional. Listen, I had to get it out of me. Butter out then in, I always say. <laughs> hey! Hey, thank you, do on the grass for following. <clears throat> hey. Oh, there you are. How's your adventure going, John? 
It's okay, I'm just making some progress. And Rose finally connected again, so she is helping me now. Well, now she's disconnected. That's good. Oh, but like, I don't think I'm actually saving the world here. I don't know what I'm really accomplishing, but I guess it's not that. Uh. <laughs> Welcome to on the grass. Oh, they got a little- they're, they're a prime gaming subscriber. A real gamer. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, where was I? Uh, um, hang on. I lost my place. I don't, I don't know I'm accomplishing that. Hmm, well, I think whatever it is, it, it must be pretty important. Don't lose hope, John. I think it will all turn out for the best if you stay positive. Just keep listening to your grandmother's advice. Yeah, you're probably right. But, um... I don't think I mentioned Nana to you, did I? Oh, uh, I don't know, did you? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe you talked to Rose or Dave about it or something. Yeah, maybe that was it. The I feel like her retainers grow since last you had to read her. Listen, it's been like almost a month. Well, not counting that one small recording session we did, it's been almost a month. Uh,. They're really weird when they talk about about you. Like, they're always trying to convince me you have some kind of spooky power. But I'm always like, no, she seems pretty regular, like a regular girl to me. Hehehe, <laughs> smiley face. But when, I, but when I think back, maybe there are some times when it seems like you know something. Like, maybe you know more about things than you are telling me. I don't know. Oh, really, John? I don't want to explain lots of things to you. Yeah. I'm trying to get the scroll down. Uh, I want to explain lots of things to you. Some things I know. I'm just waiting. Waiting for what? Oh, John. I forgot, so I, I, forgot I was uh, messaging you about that meteor that fell near my house. I just realized that she doesn't capitalize. Oh, no, either of them capitalized their eyes. Oh, yeah. Whatever happened. Whatever happened with that? Oh boy, well, it turns out it was confused, er, turns out I was confused about it. Really confused. Mm. See, I guess it fell, I guess I fell asleep for a while and lost track of time. That happens. Why did you have full head cure braces? <laughs> am I, am I doing too much? Is it too much? A little bit? Okay. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. I'm, like, I'm just sort of curling my tongue slightly as I talk to do it, and I guess it's exaggerating it too much. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Maybe you should, like, wear an alarm- or er, <laughs> wear an alarm clock or something. So, what was the deal with the meteor? Well, it's hard to explain. It, it, God, it's hard to dial it back now. It's hard to- Just lean pull on into it, just fucking strap her up, like- I'll get one of those things that, like, stop you from closing your lips and oh, make you drool God. all over yourself. Maybe oh. I'll try and curl my tongue in the other direction. Well, it's hard to explain, but I know what, <laughs> I know what it is now, and I know everything- <laughs> I know everything is going to be okay. So, what is it? Or is that just another thing you're waiting to tell me? My girl sounds like jo Johnny Depp and Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> what, is, what does that even mean? Oh yeah, he does have braces in the setup of the early stage of that. Um. Oh gosh, Dan. <laughs> I can't do the voice now. Oh gosh, Dan. I really want to tell you this stuff, <laughs> but but I can't yet. I really think I needed to wake up first. Huh? Well, not literally. Well, maybe kind of literally. Ugh, stop being- stop being so confusing. Lol. Hmm. Anyway, time um, for you to go, John. I think you have some company. John, quickly, grab the Pugu Hammer. The Pugu Hammer? You're a Pugu. I'm gonna Pugu you goo. And fill you with Pugu. Oh, I'm a scat like, man! I like an image of loading, but that's just, that's just a roof. 
Ow! I just hit my cough hammer. mug on my teeth. Aww. <laughs> you stick the pogo hammer back in your striped specibus and get ready to kill some more of these pesky little... Huh? What's that? I love it. So much face over that hot topic hi hired her off the street without an application. <laughs> That's fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> equals equals greater than. <laughs> Look at that. He's dummy thick though. Equals equals greater than. Oh lord, he coming. <laughs> oh lord, I'm coming. Rose, why are you dropping something on the thing? Oh no. <laughs> John, be the imp. You be the imp and quickly absent the fuck out of there. This what, this is what weaker adversaries do whenever things get too hot to handle, which is frequently. John, prepare for a boss battle. You stop being the imp because that was stupid mm. and scurry over to your magic chest that you suddenly remembered was on the roof. There are some things in here that would be good to stock up on for a major battle, but it looks like someone has plundered your chest. This is so outrageous. Equals equals greater than. Look at them feet. Oh, look at those feet. Oh, yeah. Well, luckily it's the foot and nothing else sticking in the window. <laughs> Even if he had a chode, it'd be massive. Equals equals greater than. You're being ambushed. There isn't much room to maneuver on this sloping roof. Maybe you should consider making your way to higher grounds. John, ascend to the highest point of the house, where the bong is kept. You go up here. John, look down. You peek over the edge. Equals equals greater than. He's on the edge of glory. It already seems like a long way down to your yard, not even to speak of whatever's below. Hey, weren't your tricky handcuffs dangling from that branch earlier? Oh, damn it, why do imps get to be making off with all your sweet gear? John, turn around. You're confronted with a pair of enormous foes. This is it. You have no choice but to wage a fierce rooftop battle. This is totally going to happen now and could in no way conceivably be interrupted by a sudden shift in our attention. It's go time. It's time to do this thing. We're doing it, man. We're making this happen. Dave, stop being the other guy. <laughs> you stop being the other guy. You're not even sure what that meant anyway. Dave, ascend to the highest point of the building. Oh my god, he's bringing the puppet ass. Getting that sweet masturbatory aid with him. That's why he's grabbing the sword, right? <laughs> oh no. This is a fucking jammer, though. Oh yeah, Dave's songs are 10 out of 10. When are we gonna get the live action Netflix adaptation of Homestuck? <laughs> In which, to make John relatable to the modern generation, they make him a TikToker. Oh. Oh. <laughs> a double cliffhanger. Curse you, hussy! <laughs> no, not even her! Oh, look at this fucking s stud of a man. Equals equals greater than. You are now the wayward vagabond. <laughs> Retire? Re retreat? Retreat? Got him already. Examine the rotting pumpkin. 
What pumpkin? <laughs> Check out the little red bar. It appears to be a gauge for a large power cell, perhaps fueled by some type of nuclear reaction. If this is the case, it is relatively low on fuel. But who knows how long it has been running here. You do not care about this sort of nonsense, and you will disregard it at once. You are very hungry. DJ WV, capture log the can of gravy. Capture log? You have no idea what that means. It is total nonsense, and you do not know what to make of it. You will not give to foolish notion a second thought. Question. You see, because I've read this before, my thoughts are all over the place. Have we read this before? We've seen the guy before, but we haven't read this. All right. Uh, DJ WV, pick up the can of gravy. Just pick it up. You just pick it up. You are now holding a can of gravy. DJ WV, use sharp teeth to poke a hole in the lid of the can. Your teeth <laughs> are useless for the task. They are blunt like that of a livestock, presumably suitable for mashing up plant matter and not for puncturing metal. By the way, it's... Do, do you want to keep to WV or call him Wayward Vagabond? <laughs> you, you want Wayward Vagabond? I leave it up to you. I'm just wondering if you do it intentionally or... Yes, yeah, so if we do it intentionally. Uh, right. We have not delved uh, uh, to simply copy-pasting a large chunk of his story. We have not devolved to simply copy-pasting a large chunks of his story. Yet. <laughs> okay. Is he one of the gremlin things? I feel like he might be one of the gremlin things, because he's got their skin tone. When we first saw him, didn't it say, like, in the future or something, or sometime in the future but not long or something like that? Yes, yes I think so. So I think the idea might be, like, this is roughly, like, this is our world after all the homestuck people got left and he's in our world, maybe? But I don't know. Maybe. DJ WV attempts to open the can with your weak, pathetic digits. Your weak, pathetic digits are not strong enough to penetrate the can. Your fingers are certainly pointy enough, and your black carapace is suitably rigid, but you just don't have enough muscle for the task. Black carapace? So he's like a bug man. Uh. Hang on. So I'm thinking... The appearance of the gremlins were based off the first thing that was ca or that was thrown into the kernel sprite. I wonder if one of them's gonna throw a bug in their kernel sprite. Who knows? DJWV, take the can labeled BANGS! Oh, I wish I could do the fucking the the voice from the vine or the TikTok. Rest in peace, rest in peace, headphone users. It's all about this beans. I can't do that voice at all. Okay, you take that too. WV, examine the can of custard. The can clearly reads mustard, <laughs> a fact of which you were perfectly well aware. It is sort of cumbersome holding all these cans at once. You doubt you can hold many more than this. Maybe one or two. You'll need to find something to put stuff in it if you want to carry a lot of things around. Hold on. Their world before even entering Spurb was very much based on video game logic with the capture logging and stuff, but this guy doesn't have that. Is this guy, like, in the real world? Like, we have this guy's world, then we have their home world, then we have Spurb, like, it's the fucking Matrix three layers deep. <laughs> WV, examine markings on wrist. You drop all the cans and take a look at your wrist. Equals equals greater than. It is a sort of specialized barcode pattern. This brings back unpleasant memories, and you would prefer not to dwell on it. Hmm. Examine the small potted plant. What plant? Check the, the book on human etiquette. He reminds me of you, he has the same cheeky demeanor. Me. Mm -hmm. We should definitely play through Grow Home at some point on channel. Oh, God, I get PTSD. <laughs> For those who don't now... know, way back in the day when we were originally going to try and do YouTube, but that fell apart, one of the first things recorded was Grow Home, and I relentlessly infuriated Arm, and was it Broditis was the other one? Our friend Broditis? 
I forget who the I, other one was. I to repress that memory at all cost. Because someone, no matter what the input was, decided to do the exact opposite of what we wanted. I mean, I was still progressing the, the plot. <laughs> oh, anyway, go ahead. It appears half the pages of this book have been eaten. The daunting volume is considerably lighter than it once was. Equals equals greater than. You are somewhat skeptical about the nutritional value contained by these pages. However, of the practical wisdom they contain, there can be little doubt. You have learned so much. DJWV, clear out all the cans inside the purple machine. You empty the peculiar cabinet and take a quick inventory of your canned goods. You have beans. Mustard, gravy, bread, shrimp, asparagus, cheese, rice, corn, peas, flour, chestnuts, mayo, ham, potatoes, and squash. Such bountiful plenty, and yet do the lights taunt you from within their small metal prison. They have it! Canned bread! Oh, God. WV, search the room for a can opener. I'm honestly more shocked by the canned flour. You have already looked all over the place for a can opener, even m making a few electronic inquiries about one to no avail. Nothing else inside the purple thing either. WV, locate a nearby sharp object. You wield your trusty Ooh. knife. It is actually a... You're not sure what they're called. It's an old rusted one of those red mailbox arm swingy flappy doodads. Either for letting you know that the mail is in the box, or maybe for alerting the mailman to outgoing mail to be collected. You don't know, really. You've wrapped a little piece of cloth around it for the grip. It is useless for opening cans. It's from John's house, isn't it? It's I John. I mean, there's more houses than John's. It's from John's house. There, there would be no point making it this specific of an item if it wasn't tied to the one mailbox we've seen so far. <laughs> W.V. Be the imp. This means nothing to you. You are not an imp, you have no idea what an imp is, and you will not entertain such frivolous and childish ideas ever again. You feel stupid and hate yourself a little for even considering it. You <laughs> heard your theory? Yeah. Become the mayor of Cantown. Ah. Uh. Oh? As the glorious founder and mayor of Cantown, you erect a dignified, majestic city hall out of cans, fittingly capped off with a tome of good manners for the roof. You have given yourself a very official and important-looking mayoral sash made of old cables to complete your look of authority. A number of rather civic-minded citizen cans gather in front of the building to offer a donation to their fair and magnanimous leader, all is well. Fucking stroked out there. <laughs> I love your recursive. Ah, finally, a smart decision. Equals equals greater than. Do we get the mayor song? Yes. What's I the... wanted to ask that secretly. Totally a secret. Okay. You immerse yourself in this beautiful dream as you whittle away the minutes, or perhaps hours. You love the idea of being a mayor. You love everything about mayors and the concept of an orderly, civil democracy. It all seems so mannerly and reasonable to you. Everyone is friendly and happy. And the city runs like clockwork. The foundation of the government is based on mutual respect between the leader and its people. It is also built on having a really great mayor that everyone loves, who is totally amazing and heroic and brave. Arm, did you spoil something again? Me? Would I ever? Arm, spoiling everything. <laughs> Ruining the whole plot. Equals, Arm. equals, and greater than. It's okay. Mwah. Mayors are so much better than kings. You hate kings, and you think kings are really stupid. They are petty, bossy, tyrants, and are really full of themselves, and are basically awful in every way. God, do you hate kings? I feel like it's referencing, like, the the whole game is built like a chess game. He served the evil king. He ser That's what the mark on his art wrist is. That's why he looks like one of the imps. He served the king at some point. Hey, chat, I think WB hates kings. Oh, no, <laughs> I think he might be quite fond of them. 
Mare Vagabond, explore the <laughs> west of Cantown. Over here is the other side of the room. There is another one of those purple storage boxes and some useless objects scattered on the floor. M Mare Vagabond, use the glowing green rock as a can opener. You pick up the nugget of uranium and earth. <laughs> that was so stupid. Why would you do that? Oh, hang on, say you can use it to make a fucking glow sight. Fallout reference. Examine the box of crayons. It is chalk, numb nuts. Ah, oh, I wish my nuts were numb. <laughs> on that note, we've been going for about thirty minutes. Um, I think we're going to. Uh, you got to keep streaming, right? So, well, we're gonna wrap up the recording there, but those of you here on Twitch, stick around, because we're not done yet. This is going to be broken into multiple parts for the people on YouTube. So, those of you on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see y'all next week. Ta-da! Bye!